Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, we had an amazing call in our VIP group on Wednesday this week. Um, and one of the newest members of our VIP group actually brought up this question. He said, hey, you know, I want to run webinars. I want some of my clients like to run webinars, but I hate having to create a new funnel, a new workflow, a new registration form for every single webinar that we do. Now, this is something that we've been doing or I've been doing for a while now. And I wanted to share some simple hacks, tips, and tricks with you guys to make your lives and your clients' lives so much easier inside Go High Level when it comes to webinars. So what I've done is I've built out an entire webinar snapshot that I will link in this video um, if you want it, or you can just watch this video, you can see how I do it, and then you can go and build it yourself. Um, but the webinars funnel, their snapshot is super cheap, $97. Uh, you can go buy it right now. So let's... Um, Let's dive in and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Now, the whole concept here is I don't want to have to create a new website uh, funnel for every webinar. I don't want to have to create a new um, workflow every time or a new web registration form every single time, because chances are you're only ever, ever going to be doing one webinar at a time. Although in this case, I've made room for two webinars at a time um, with this snapshot. So let's dive into it. Um, and if webinars are your thing, um, this is like the ultimate webinar registration structure for your business or your clients' businesses. So let's take a look. So here we go. Um, my head is obviously in the way, but we're gonna go first and foremost, let's go check out the webinar registration page. So this is the webinar registration page that we've completed with the funnel. Now here is the secret to all of this. This funnel is built entirely with custom values so that every time you change your webinar um, topic, structure, date, time, everything will update on this funnel for you so that you don't have to go in and rebuild it, uh, which is amazing. So I'll give you some examples. So this logo right here is a custom value. The email right here is a custom value. Uh, we do free training for, and then this is a custom value here. So your audience, which means that because we have two funnels in here, you can have two different audiences going at any given time for your webinars. And then you've got your webinar topic, which is a custom value. You've got your webinar date and time, which is a custom value. Uh, what we're going to cover, this is your webinar description, custom value. And then we've got our three bullet points, which you guessed it are custom values. So the only thing that you, oh, and the last, the last one, the fun one, is this image um, is also a custom value. So you just toss in your custom values and your entire webinar registration form structure is done. Um, and then obviously you would put in your own testimonials here. Um, and then when somebody clicks on the register today, custom value for that webinar, custom value date and time for that webinar, and then they can go in and they can just fill this in. So this is just a super simple name, email, phone number, form, and you click register and we're off to the races here now. We've got the thank you page, which has their custom field name. Um, and then obviously all of this stuff is exactly the same for the webinar itself. So that's how this works, but here is where it gets really cool. So let's dive back in and go to settings and go to custom values. So inside these custom values, um, we've got, I've got this organized so that if you wanted to plug this snapshot into any of your accounts or your client accounts, these will all live at the bottom uh, because it's all alphabetized. Um, but here's your webinar topic. So we can learn how to run Facebook ads the right way. Well, let's change this and let's just say, um, learn how to run webinars the easy way with GHL. So there's our new topic. We're going to update that. And then we've got the webinar description, which we will also update. And we're going to talk about leveraging custom values to instantly update webinar registration. That's good enough for me. We're going to click update. And then once high level does its high level -y things, we're going to update the date and time as well. So let's just say that this is going to be on what's the, well, we'll leave this. I don't need to change this. This one's fine. Here is, here is the really, really important one though. And so this is going to help you um, with your workflow automations. And that's this webinar start date time structure right here. So if you format this custom custom field, sorry, custom value with the date, so the month, day, year, and then hour, 
minute, AM, PM. So if you format this field correctly, everything is going to work and everything is going to be awesome. Um, okay. So then we've got our webinar bullets. Um, we've obviously got webinar one and webinar two, and then you've got your webinar link. Let's open this up here. So basically everything that I built inside the funnel, I built as a custom value so that you can literally just come in here and just tweak these, change these custom values. Here's your webinar image. Um, you've got your Zoom link in here. So everything that you need to run this webinar um, is already in custom values. Um, and then obviously I've made room for two webinars. So if you wanted to run two webinars kind of at the same time and not have um, workflow conflicts, because you can't have one person in two workflows. Um, if you wanted to run two different webinars at a time, you can have your secondary topic um, and secondary workflows in here as well. So now let's just go and actually take a look at the way that I built the funnel because you guys can build this the exact same way in any sort of layout and design. So first and foremost, images. Did you know that you can use custom values for images? Yes, you can. Um, so as long as you've got the image URL, so if you upload that to your media files, right click on it, grab the, don't, grab the URL or get link, um, you can put that link into the custom value and then you can paste the custom value into a funnel and that's automatically gonna update the image here. Uh, we've got the webinar email, we've got the webinar audience, we've got the webinar topic, we've got the webinar date and time, we've got the webinar description and all of your bullet points and then your register today button right here. And then inside the pop-up, we've got the topic and we've got the date right here. So. Anytime you change those values, they will change inside the funnel. And I did the same thing here with the webinar image. Um, you just have to, we've set this up for square. So if you do end up grabbing this snapshot, um, make sure you use square because it'll look way better if you do. Um, and then if you do buy the snapshot, you just got to update your testimonials here um, for your webinar. So that's, that's the funnel setup. It's very, very simple. Um, you can do this probably in a couple of hours and have a fully built out ready to rock and roll snapshot for yourself and your clients. And here we go. This is the fun part about live high level being high level. -y. Let's see if we can refresh this page. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go incognito and do this all over again. Let's see if we can refresh it from here. All right. So let's dive into the webinar. Snapshot. Okay, so that was the websites. Now let's go into the workflows and the automation. So I've set up two different forms, one for webinar one, one for webinar two, which obviously in the two different funnels work to fire off two different workflows. Now, what I've done here is webinar form submitted. I add a tag um, and then the event start time. So this is where that custom value comes into play, um, where you've got the format like this right here. Um, and you just put that custom value in here and then that's going to set your event start times um, for each individual webinar. So as long as that date field is correct, this whole workflow is going to go and work correctly. Now, here is the registration confirmation, which has, you guessed it, all of those custom values in here. So you don't ever have to change it again. Um, this literally can be used over and over and over again with different topics, different um, descriptions, different bullet points. Um, as long as you change those values, you completely changed your webinar structure there as well. So we go all the way down to a one week reminder, 24 hour reminder. And in this email, we say like, Hey, show up early. There's only limited slots available. Then we send a text message with the webinar topic. Um, and then 10 minutes before we send them the link. Um, and so this is a trigger link. This is how we do it. We send it with the webinar trigger link, which again, you guessed it. That is using the custom value. So everything that you do uses the custom values so that you only have to change it in one place. You don't have to go rebuild a funnel. You don't have to go rebuild your workflows. You don't have to rebuild your trigger links. Everything is just done in one simple place. So you can spit these things out super, super fast. Um, now we've got a wait step here. So wait 70 minutes, um, wait to see if the trigger link for the webinar was clicked, because I think you can naturally assume that if somebody clicked the link and hopped on your Zoom call, that they attended the webinar. And then we are going to update the opportunity accordingly here. Um, now, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but when the opportunity gets created, it tells you which webinar they registered for. 
So learn how to run Facebook ads the right way was a previous one that I registered for, um, which you guys saw in the other, uh, in the other, before I changed the custom value. So this now tells you what webinar that person is registered for. So let's go back into the workflow. The way that I did that, you know, just put the contact name there. And then the opportunity source is the custom value for the webinar topic. Um, and now you know which webinar they have actually registered for. And then in this section here, we do allow duplicate opportunities only on this first step because we want to be able to create duplicate opportunities if they attend different webinars. Um, and so we want it to create the opportunity on step one, if they registered for webinar one or they register for webinar two. And then if you send them through webinar one again, it's gonna create a new one for the new topic. So you wanna be able to, you wanna turn that on uh, in your workflows every single time. Um, and then at the end of it, like I said, if they click the link, they attended. If they don't click the link in the time span, they did not attend and it will update the opportunity accordingly. So there you go, guys. That is the fastest and the easiest way to set up automated webinars without having to rebuild everything for every webinar you do. Like I said, I've been doing this for probably a couple of years now. And so it was just time. Um, one of our VIP members brought it up and I said, Hey, why don't I just build this? Why don't I just put this all together for you guys and then show you guys how you can do it yourselves. Um, if you want to now, if you don't want to, if you want to save a couple of hours of your life right now, I've got this thing for sale for $97. You can click the link. If you're on Facebook, it's above my head. If you're on YouTube, it's below my head. Um, and as always guys, if you have questions about go high level, or you want some hands on help, then consider joining our VIP group. It's currently only $97 a month and we do six live trainings every single month where you can come in just like this VIP client did and said, Hey, how do I do this? And then what do we do? We just go and build it for them. Um, we help them, we get in their systems and we do things together because the more hands-on training you guys have with high level, the better you will become, the better you will be able to support your clients. And we do it, we do it together because together, is always better. So if you like this one, likes, comments, let me know if this was good, valuable or not. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.